I'm back. Um, we have a little bit of a connectivity problem when we go from one end of the building to the other, and we'll try and get that figured out. So this is a two-part live. So that was part A, this is part B, whichever way you want to look at it. So um, items that we listed in the last week or so, one of them was deer suede. I was saying um, a couple ways you can search for this on our website is you can search deer suede. That's easy enough. That'll bring up the deer suede that we have. The other way is going to project pieces, um, which I believe is the third column under leather, and then you look for deer, and then you can narrow down. Uh, we've talked about this before. Project piece is not a full hide. So we've got full hides and we've got project pieces. So a project piece is a half a hide, a quarter of a hide, something like that. Smaller piece you don't want to commit to let's say $70, but you're okay with $25, project pieces and any of our leathers is the way to go. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the different colors and sizes we have available. This one is three and a half square feet, and it is called <laughs> Foghorn Blue. <laughs> so three and a half square feet, Foghorn Blue, and this one is $12.25. If you like this one, this is deer suede. It doesn't have a finish on it. So it's kind of like uh, microfiber or um, suede. So that's what that is. If you like this one, the item number is right there. It's the DE part. Alrighty. So there's that. Um, we've got this what is called a marigold color. And this one is four square feet. So there we go. If you like that, here is your item number. Alrighty, so like I said, we've got just a few shelves of it. I guess four shelves. Um, there's not a ton of it, so if you like that, that's what you look for. All right, let's go look at glues. Jessica said that's my mama. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Hey Jess. So we've got two main kinds of glues here. We've got Phoebing's leather cement and then we have Master's cement. So what's the difference between the two? Okay, Phoebing's is more of like a white glue, kind of like your Elmer's glue to a certain extent. It's the non-toxic kind of glue. So this is What's going on? I fixed my shoe with this glue today. Jackie <laughs> fixed her shoe with the Masters today. I sure did. My little, uh, what is that, trim came off my shoe. Little Masters on there. Good as new. It there works. There you go. <laughs> Don't even have to have leather. It works on all things. Thanks. See you, Jackie. <laughs> Sitting in a meeting, her shoe fell apart, and that's what we decided to do. So, But back to the Phoebing's glue. This is like the white glue, the non-toxic they both work similarly, but they, the Masters is your toxic one. It's the one that has the fumes. This one holds a little bit firmer. Um, the Masters, what was I going to say about the Masters? Oh, I know. This has a three minute set time. So when you put the glue on both portions of your project, whether it be two pieces of leather, a piece of wood and a piece of leather, whatever, You've got three minutes to shift it around, get it in place, and it's going to really start bonding. So this stuff moves pretty quickly, um, which is nice. So if you want your projects to move along, you don't have to wait that long with that. So again, Masters is the toxic one, the one that smells. You're supposed to have ventilation. Smell doesn't bother me. So, and then, but if you're sensitive to that, then you want to go to the um, the Phoebing's cement. Janelle Howell says, how much or how does your shipping work? Well, the shipping is based on the weight of your package, your total package, and then your zip code from us. So it's really, uh, it, it, it is set to be as fair as possible. It's about the total weight and where your zip code is. Some items like Master's Glue or the Phoebing's Dyes, um, they have regulations on them where they can only be shipped UPS ground. They can't go priority mail, they can't go US mail, they can't go overnight, things like that. 
So some items, like when you're buying glue or um, dye, although this weighs less than one pound, it's going to have to go UPS, which generally costs more for a lightweight box than it does for um, a heavier box. So our rule of thumb here is boxes over four pounds generally she ship cheaper going UPS. Boxes under four pounds usually ship cheaper going priority mail. Um, there is some crossover at times, but I don't know if that helps in any way. No response yet. <laughs> okay. If you have more questions about that, it was Janelle, right? Yep. Okay. Let me know and I'll try and clarify that. I think I read it right. Okay. So. All right. A couple more items and we'll be getting done. Um, we got very, very low on goat skin, hair on goat skin. I'm going to pull these out. Um, and we've got about a hundred of these back in stock. These are a popular little skin. They're about, I don't know, three feet by a foot and a half. Uh, compared to the cowhide, which is about six foot by six foot, these are just like little throws. Um, you can use them the way, you, the way they are, or you can cut them up and you can use them as a decorative feature. Like when we were in Oregon, we saw these cut up and used in... Um, throw pillows, which I never thought you could do because on a goat skin, this one doesn't show up really well. Their hair up at their neck is thicker and it stands up a little bit. This isn't a great example, but it is much thicker than the rest of their hair. And so it's not even like everything else. So anyway, in the throw pillows, they had this right down the center and it was actually super cool. We also saw it on some footstools and right down the center or the middle of the footstool, school, seriously, <laughs> stool, you could see this pattern going through it and it was really, really cool. So um, you can use this for upholstery work, small like western crafts, we see it a lot in and yeah, or just a plain old rug. So we've got a ton of these. They really kind of come in a few main colors. This brown or tan and black is pretty predominant. You'll get some, this gray tone um, in some of them. And then there isn't a huge variety of color here, but they are interesting. I don't know if you can see these, Brittany. Yep. So that one looks like a little calf, but it's not. So there you go. That's the goat skins. Last thing I'm going to talk about today is our own um, veg tan line that we uh, exclusively carry here. This is what we call Artisan's Choice. And we have, which is a super, super clean veg tan. Um, this is available in two to three ounce and then just step up. So two, three ounce. Three, four, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten. So from two ounces up to ten ounces, you can get this in um, full hides. Uh, we have several hundred square feet of this in all the various sizes at or thicknesses at this time. The other way you can buy the Artisan's Choice is you can buy this in the pre-cuts. So we have this in the four by sixes, the eight by tens, and the twelve by twelves. Uh, the reason that you might want just something smaller is, let's say you just want to make one wallet. These hides run about $150. You can buy a 12 by 12 for 11 bucks, and you just have that amount that you need. Um, sometimes the pre-cuts are nicer than our scrap because you know exactly the size that you're getting. So, you want to look at that. I don't have anything else for you guys this week. If anybody has questions or comments after the video, just put them on there and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, we will see you again next week. Bye.